Every Adopt Me's pet value for 2023. Let's start off with the event pets inside of Adopt Me. Okay, we have the Scooby-Doo, the Pumpkin Pet, and the 2D Kitty. Unfortunately, you can't keep any of them. So now let's jump straight into the common pets, as I'm pretty sure most of you guys have probably one of these. The most common common pet is a cat, surely followed by a dog. There is extremely low demand for these pets, as I'm pretty sure 99% of players own a hundred of them. It's strange to see pets such as the buffalo and the otter say they're from the retired egg, okay? Then we've got the mouse, the ant, the saddle mole, and the duogong. You guys gotta be quick. Then we got the bullfrog, the wolpertinga, the stingray, and the walrus. So the higher the number, the more rare it is for that style of pet. So I actually don't know what the rarest common pet's gonna be. Let's see if you guys can predict in the comments, okay. Number six is the Tasmanian Tiger from the Fossil Egg, the Ground Sloth, the Bandicoot, and a Robin. Oh, that makes so much sense. The Christmas Egg is still some of my favorite pets in Adopt Me come out of the Christmas Egg, and I really hope that they give us another Christmas Egg. What is going to be number two and number one in the comment? I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. The Chick. Uh, this originally wasn't a tradable pet, but now it is. And the chicken, what came first though? The chicken or the egg? Or the chick? Comment below. Okay, after the common pets, I think we're now gonna go and see some rare pets. Oh, uncommon. I'm such a silly noob and adopt me. Not gonna lie. Uncommon. There is 38 uncommon pets in adopt me. Wow. Okay, so we got the very low demand of a chocolate Labrador, a Fennec Fox. Uh, these are all gonna be very low demand, aren't they? Obviously, because they're all uncommon, but uh, they're slightly more demanded than the ones in the common section because these are uncommon. We got a camel, a donkey, a poodle, and a rhino beetle. Some of these are like recent pets. That tanuki, I don't really see anyone trying to trade a tanuki. The black mummy cat, there were so many of them, but uh, I thought that would be higher. The slug and the red cardinal. Okay, this is... This is definitely interesting values. The Kirin, the Ermine, we did just get the Ermine, which is cool. The Rock, which cost 300 bucks in the April Fool's update. Surprisingly, the Therapy Dog is a higher demand, which are uh, because of preppy values, guys. Everyone loves the preppiness to the Therapy Dog, and they're like, oh, it's so cute, which, fair play to them. Scorpion, Chickatrice, Crab, and a Dolphin. Okay, I actually don't know what's going to be number one. Um, so quite a lot of the values have been changing in Adopt Me recently because of preppy values, which means if it looks cute, then it's worth more, basically. So a Snow Leopard, a Butterfly, another Butterfly, and a Stegosaurus. So uh, there are some random pets which have kind of increased a lot in value recently because people think it's cute, such as the Glyphthodon. I don't know why everyone thinks it looks cute as a Neon, so its demand has gone up significantly. Um, a Dingo, a Snowman. Snowman's cool. It's two years old. Uh, three years old is 2023 now. Oh, wow. Then a bat, a wolf, a drake, and a silly duck is coming in at number seven. To be honest, I have no idea what the rarest uncommon pet is, so this is going to surprise me as well. A capybara, now that is a preppy pet, and also a black panther, a wild boar, a meerkat. I would have thought the black panther would have been number one because it's very rare, but let's find out what will it be. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, okay, fair enough. The pink cat and the blue dog, some of the oldest pets, uh, the, the actual oldest pets to exist into Adopt Me were those. Now we're heading into the rare pets. Rare pets, rare pets. 50? There is 50 rare pets in Adopt Me? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know what the rarest is gonna be, so stick along and we'll find out. We got the beaver. The rabbit, the snow puma, and then a bunny. Uh, the bunny's rarer than the rabbit. Uh, an ox. Yeah, I can see why. Ox, statistically, the most hated pet in Adopt Me. The tiger. I didn't think it would be such a low demand. But okay, a zebra, ghost wolf, ibis, and the leopard cat. But the leopard cat's so adorable. Come on, guys. Your preppy values are failing us. Uh, a koi, the new Shetland pony, woodpecker, and a red fox. Okay. Uh, then we got a mummy cat, another cat, the basilisk. That's interesting, but makes sense. 
the Sasquatch, the Butterfly, the Summer Walrus, and an Ibex. The Ibex, you don't really see many of them, and they did cost like a thousand bucks, so fair enough. The Mule Evil Daoshound. Wait, the Evil Daoshound was 1,000 candy, but the Mule was 35,000? That means I could have literally bought 35 Daoshounds for the price of one Mule. That is, uh, that is definitely interesting, Adobe. What, what's going on there? Alright, what else is next? The step line. That one just came out, so I guess it's not too rare, but it's cute. Uh, the Dilophosaurus, the one that no one can spell. A pterodactyl. It has a silent T in pterodactyl, by the way. A monkey, Irish elk, emu, and Australian kelpie. Husky, musk ox, lynx, and a rat. How is a rat so high? I guess it's a pretty old pet now. Back in my day when I played Adopt Me, the rat was a very hated pet. But I guess no one's had it for a while. That they're like, oh, it's a rat. It's rat. Okay, a reindeer. Fair enough. From 2019. Then a polar bear, a swan, and a pig. Was the only way to get a reindeer from the advent calendar? I thought you could hatch it, but I might be wrong. Christmas egg. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Now we're coming into the rare ones. The brown bear has high demand. And the rhino also has high demand, which makes sense. They're both pretty cool looking pets. They're both from like a jungle egg. And now we're getting into the top five, okay? So a shrew is number four. The shrew was from 2019. It was a very expensive pet at the time. Not many people were buying it. Everyone was going and buying things such as frost dragons or the Christmas egg instead of going and buying a shrew. So it's a pretty hard pet to come across which is why it's still one of my favorite pets. It used to be called an elf shrew, but they, they revamped it to just straight up a shrew. And number two is a cow, and number one is an elephant. Yeah, talk about preppy values. You guys all love the cuteness to the cows and the elephants. To be fair, I would have put uh, a cow in front, but I guess the safari egg was before the farm egg, so in terms of values, that would logically make sense. After rare is gonna be ultra rare, so let's find out some ultra rare pets. I have no idea what they're gonna be. 78 of them. There's 78 ultra rare pets in Adopt Me. Wow. The Shiba Inu is number 78, which makes sense to me, right? Nobody likes the Shibas or the Red Pandas. I have so many of them, but they're from the retired egg now, so fair play. Actually, the Persian cat, everyone got hundreds for free. The bee, Luna Ox, Ginger Cat, and a Sloth. Some of these are like Robux pets, and they're quite, pretty low demand, which is definitely interesting. Um, so I, I'd put Robux pets above, like these ones that you can hatch. A Trap Door Snail, still never see anyone equip them. A Pine Martin, Salamander, Toucan, and a King Penguin. Oh right, the Badger, the Ribbon Seal, a Tan Chow Chow, and a Starfish. This is going to be interesting. I actually don't know the rarest ultra rare pet. So, a Penguin, a Zombie Wolf, fair, uh, a Chested Pheasant, and the Hydra. It's interesting that the new Penguin is lower than the other one. The Reindeer, the Gingerbread Reindeer is number 49. You guys could have got them all for free. I made 16 accounts. Uh, just to give myself enough to make a Mega Neon. I think that's how many you need to make a Mega Neon, right? Uh, am I wrong? Uh, four, yeah, it's 16 I need. It's 16. Um, and then we got some of the other recent event pads. The St. Bernard is the previous year's advent calendar prize. The Scarlet Butterfly, a Blue Scarab, a Chickatrice, and a Ram. These are some interesting pad values. Honestly, no idea what's going to be number one. This is going to be interesting. The Snowball Pet, it only costs 100 Robux, and it was so much rarer than the things that cost like 400 Robux, which is interesting. The Space Whale, yeah, it makes sense. That thing was 2,500 bucks, making it one of the hardest pets to go and purchase. It's very expensive. It is. Okay. The Dionkisaurus, the Royal Corgi was 3,000 bucks. I can't remember that. The Pomeranian, 400 star rewards on diamond, makes sense. The Woolly Rhino, I didn't think it was like that expensive to be that high value, but yeah, I guess the Woolly Rhino was a lot of gingerbread. A lamb, okay. The Yeti, Yeti still one of my favorite looking pets. It just looks so cool and chunky. The Ice Wolf for 500 Robux, yeah, fair, fair enough. All right, the Puffin, 
I thought he smells like expensive event pet, 120,000 gingerbread. I'm so glad none of the pets this year were that expensive. Or I would have cried. Um, Alright, zombie buffalo. The crocodile. Bro. Since when did the crocodile cost 120,000 gingerbread? <laughs> crocodile was from a safari egg, right? Uh, which would make sense. Then a lion and a flamingo. Flamingos are cool. They're definitely preppy. Number two is a Dalmatian. It came out at the exact same time as a Frost Dragon. So it's a quarter of the price of the Frost Dragon. It was originally called the Santa Dog, by the way, but then they introduced the Petware update, which basically makes this Dalmatian look bold. It has no hat. And then number one is the Hedgehog. Very high demand. Yeah, no one really has a pet Hedgehog in Adopt Me because it's so hard to come across. They're so rare, no one wants to trade them because they're preppy, they're high value, and there's not many that actually exist. 87 legendaries? Are you kidding me? 87? Wow. Now that's fascinating to me. The most common one is a minion, which makes sense because they literally guaranteed you to get a minion when you hatched the minion egg, which is funny. Like, they're literally guaranteeing you a free legendary. Alright, I wonder what the number one legendary is. I think I can guess, but let's see. I'm not sure if any of these are a shock to me. Some griffins, golden, robo. I mean, this all makes sense, right? Just some random ones. But some of these are expensive out of robux, right? Most most legendaries do cost you robux if you didn't know already. Uh, so, kind of makes sense. The dragonfly is higher than I expected, though. The lava wolf, okay. Lava wolf is up there. The alley corn is from the basic egg update. Why is the alley corn so high value when the others cost Robux? You can hatch an alley corn at any point, which is interesting. Um, so that's cool. An ancient dragon. Yeah, it's got high value. It looks cool. Everyone likes the looks of the ancient dragon, to be fair. So fair enough. The ice moth dragon that literally just came out. Interesting. The hog, fallow deer, goldthorn, and a golden rat. Okay. Um, uh, Legendary, the Shetland Pony, definitely should be higher up there. I had to trade so much to get one of them, which is interesting because it's a new pet. Um, I actually don't know where this is going to be. A Phoenix, a Neon Phoenix honestly looks amazing. It turns blue. The Winged Horse, Diamond, Diamond, and a Skelly Rex. Skelly Rex is also cool. Jousting Horse, 150k candy. Most recent update, okay. Dancing Dragon, yeah, fair. Do you guys have a Lavender Dragon? It came out by buying a DJ Game Pass. So I bought it so you could play music in your house, but Adopt Me removed that since Roblox removed playing copyrighted music, which is why they gave everyone a Lavender Dragon. Very strange move from Adopt Me, but it makes sense. The Ice Golem, high demand. I wouldn't say there's high demand, but it, it there probably will be in the future. High demand for a Frost Fury, okay. Uh, the Lava Dragon makes sense, makes sense. The Capricorn costs so much Robux. There we go, there's a classic. The Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon. High demand, 1,000 Robux. Makes sense. It's cool, it's legendary. It looks like an actual Bat Dragon, so fair enough. The Turtle and a Kangaroo. I'm nearly close to making a Mega Kangaroo. Um, Alright, the Black Chested Pheasant. That should probably be a bit higher. Apparently, there's more Mega Neon Shadows than there are Black Chested Pheasants as Mega Neon, which is very fascinating to me. The Arctic Reindeer, a Monkey King, a Crow. Alright, we're getting into the top 5! Number 7 is an Evil Unicorn that costs 108,000 candy. Then number 6 is a Parrot from the Jungle Egg. And then from the Farm Egg is an Owl. The Frost Dragon is 1,000 Robux. Very high demand for all of these pets. If you have any of these pets, then you're some of the richest players in Adopt Me. So let's find out what is going to be the top three. The Giraffe from the Safari Egg. The Bat Dragon from Halloween. And then the Shadow Dragon. Comment your favorite pet for a chance to win it for free. Click this video here to see me play Roblox Adopt Me upside down.